bro, with all these movies about street racing, now they be about nuclear submarines? <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Fate of the Furious, or otherwise Fast 8, the series that just keeps on trucking, even though the seriousness and the realism and just anything sort of in the realm of believability is completely implausible by now. This movie was about street racing and truck hijacking. This one is about preventing World War III. I'm not fucking joking. The movie starts pretty quickly, actually. They're in Havana, and Charlie Theron appears, and she's got shit on Dom that she can hold against him, and basically makes him have to do whatever she tells him to do. And so what proceeds to happen is a betrayal and a series of ridiculous, over-the-top, absolutely absurd action scenes. These aren't movies anymore. These aren't characters. These are literally moving objects crashing into everything they can until they get to the end of the movie. This series doesn't have any sort of... it doesn't have a soul anymore. It's funny. It's entertaining. But there's no purpose. There literally is nothing to this film besides absolute mindless popcorn action. And I'm not saying I didn't have a good time. I enjoyed myself. The quips between The Rock and Jason Satham were hysterical. The team was kind of there, but really this was Statham and The Rock and Vin Diesel. It was basically these three sharing screen time and Charlie Staring coming in and saying cryptic shit. I will admit I knew what the whole situation with Dom was going to be. It's a bit different from what I expected, which I was happy about. It's kind of a very simplistic sort of situation. And they try to fazzle-dazzle it with all this hacking bullshit. There's actual hacking battles at one point. It's like, holy crap, we're going back to fucking hackers here. But it's so mindless. It is literally a train crashing into cars and smashing its way through until it eventually runs out of steam. And that's how this movie proceeds. Very much like how the last one did. The last one had zero purpose to it because it's just so ridiculous of what the goal is that you don't care. You're just there watching it and being like, yep, whatever, just really in one ear and out the other. The action sequences are cool. For, except for the fact that they just go way over the top of the CG. The thing that I enjoyed about, well not 4, I didn't like 4, but 5, and some of 6, is they did have ridiculous car setups. Yeah, there was CG using them, but it was a even amount, if not, they tried to do as much as they could practical. This one just doesn't give a shit. There's so many sequences, even street racing sequences. At the very fucking beginning, he's driving a car that's on goddamn fire backwards in reverse, and he beats a dude in a street race. This is just beyond the point of anything. Like, this is mindless action. The Rock is able to punch three people so hard that they fly against the wall. He's basically a superhero. He takes rubber bullets like they're freaking being pebbles being thrown at him. This is a negative. This is just the fact that you can't take this series seriously anymore. Not saying that you couldn't in the first place, but what this series used to be, as opposed to what it is now, is a complete parody of itself. It is ridiculous. This is a decent action series, I'm not going to deny that, but it's not, it's just basically action movies with cars and ridiculousness and Vin Diesel mumbling stuff. Fate of the Furious is a fun time, but literally it will just go straight through your ear and out the other. It is exactly as ridiculous and kind of as pointless as the last three have been, really. So in the end, I'm going to give The Fate of the Furious a 4 out of 7. You're going to have a good time, but you're barely going to remember it afterwards because you're just going to be like, wow, that was so stupid, I can't believe that actually happened. But I somehow enjoyed all that garbage. There are some funny moments, especially with Jason Statham and a baby. That was actually really funny. But, I don't know. I am I would be, I wouldn't care if this series ended. You know, it's going to make money. They're going to make more. They're going to eventually go into space. They're eventually going to go to Mars. They're eventually going to jump dimensions and whatnot, but I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna top this. Like, I wasn't joking about the World War III shit. They actually, you know, tried to prevent that. It's, maybe there might be a post-apocalyptic one. That would be interesting. 